Yeah, all right, guys. Okay, this is just a heads up, okay? Um, <clears throat> considering... Okay, this is going back a bit. When I bought my narrowboat, okay, this is when it all started kicking off, yeah? Well, it was kicking off before then, to be honest with you, yeah? Um, but when I bought my narrowboat in London, Egham, yeah? When I went up to fucking sort that out and get it, you know, on the on the water, which I had to sell it because of a burglary, yeah? Um... Bearing in mind, my Weasley nephew, my Weasley, Weasley nephew, yeah, left his own flat, right, on his own accord, right, went round to my mum's house, started coming on the doorstep saying he doesn't have anywhere to live, let, yeah, he left his own flat, which the council gave him, on his own accord, right, while I wasn't even there. You know, I was up on my narrow boat. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. You know? So by the time I got back, he was already in under the fucking feet under the table, you know, and I just had to live with it. Yeah. While well, I'm having more and more fucking criminals entering the property, yeah, trying to sell me my mum's laptop. I mean, they even tried to sell her her own laptop. You know, I mean, come on, people. You know what I mean? This is the sort of shit that I've got to deal with. Yeah. While she invites all these fucking weirdos continuously into her houses, yeah. While I've got expensive fucking equipment, expensive bicycles, yeah. I'm just trying to get on with my life. While she's buying a dog in a small mobile home, yeah, in a caravan park, right. Which she left a wolf. She literally bought a wolf when I told her not to, yeah. And she goes behind my back. Right, with my brother to Wales to pick one up. Right, and you go, oh, isn't it cute? Yeah, it was small Ben then. Uh, I thought, do you know how big that's gonna get? But she didn't take it for a walk. It was left inside the mobile home most of the time, shitting and pissing all over the carpets. Yeah, me and my uncle from South Africa literally had to rip the carpets out, which were literally dripping with pit dog piss. Okay, so don't tell me what I have and haven't done in my life, yeah, it's been fucking gross, neglect, avoidance, um, well, I'm having to deal with such slanderous allegations and statements every time we've moved, yeah, um, the first time I got assaulted, it was by my, my brother's, my brother-in-law's, um, mates, which I actually knew, right, so somebody's put the word out that I'm a P down there, yeah, and I had so many people coming at me, Left, right, and centre, trying to do, you know, well, after having didn't half the teeth smashed out my face in the first place, and I was told to fuck off or I'll be arrested by the police, by the police, okay, yeah, because I complained due to having, you know, constant threats of violence and fucking allegations thrown at me left, right, and centre, yeah. My mum and sister literally saw me getting assaulted, yeah, and having my blood splattered all over fucking wallpaper in my mum's house, right, putting people up who fucking rigged the electric, okay, they rigged the electric, and she got nobbled for that, having these fucking idiots and criminals coming into her house, yeah, ripping me off as well causing me aggravation and making me fucking homeless constantly while trying to ha find work in these out-of-the-way out of places with the sadistic, fucked-up people, yeah? So, we're going to get into it a little bit more. <clears throat> I'll probably get some of the dates and, and, and locations wrong because my head is so messed up due to having to move constantly over the fucking 12-year period. She's moved about eight or nine times, okay? Yeah? While well, I'm having to fend off constant malicious attacks and statements from me made by pretty much everybody being run off the road by, on my bicycle in Falmouth, yeah, and around the surrounding area, having my vehicles tampered with which I bought and spent a lot of money on, having, even having them stolen from me, okay, in Falmouth, okay, 
And it's like, how am I meant to live like that? How am I meant to actually get a job while while she's constantly shift blaming, avoiding, throwing people under the bus left, right, and the centre, and just basically doing exactly what the fuck she wants with no regard for anybody else but herself, yeah. I've just had to put up with it all, yeah. As she's blamed me for not doing more around the house as I'm trying to find work in the area. And every time I get a foothold anywhere, she'd want to move. She'd throw me under the bus, pull the carpet from under me and, and slander me to shit in the area, saying I'm not doing enough. And so I'm getting pressure from criminals, I'm getting pressure from the police, I'm getting pressure from the family members. Oh, you got to do more. Oh, you got to get a job. you got to get out and find somewhere to live. And you got to do this, got to do that. I'm like, how the fuck am I even do this? You're constantly moving around, yeah? The country. You, you people have no idea how hard I've actually had it, yeah? You lot have no fucking idea of the amount of bullshit I've had to put up with from everybody, yeah? While I was under constant attacks, yeah? So not only do I have to find work, I've got to tidy up the whole fucking place, I've got to take a dog for a walk, I've got to do this, I've got to do... When do I sleep? When do I eat? Not to mention the amount of times that I've actually been made fucking homeless, yeah, and tried to find a flat, only just to be fucking dicked around by the councils all the time. I've spent the last four years busting my ass, walking around Norwich, trying to find fucking council to sort out, and now I'm doing it in Gloucester, yeah, and I was doing it in Cornwall as well, yeah. Literally, I've spent the last ten years with these councils trying to fucking sort it all out. Well, I'm losing thousands of pounds every time she's moved, yeah? And losing my work and losing my fucking reputation and losing fucking all my belongings, yeah? No, don't come onto the forum and tell me, people, okay? Because you really have no idea, yeah? I mean, the amount of research I've had to do in the last 25 years of, of subjects that have no interest to me, yeah? I'm well versed in psychology, I'm well versed in the fucking law, I'm well versed on behaviour, yeah? So don't tell me I'm out of line. After suffering assault after assault after assault, th you know, as well as three court cases which have all fallen apart due to fucking false information, yeah. You know, she spent over a million pounds in ten years. Okay, people, she spent a million in ten years. Let that fucking sink in for a minute. Right? And how much of that have I seen? How much of that have I seen? Well, she's blown, like, 120 grand here down at Mullion Caravan Park, right, buying mobile homes for a business which failed, and she did that twice. Right? Not to mention having her fucking nephew, well, my nephew, who's a crackhead, smackhead, whatever, yeah, enter the property with his scummy fucking mates. Well, I'm trying to protect myself and my property, but I'm not allowed because it's against the law, isn't it? Yeah, and if I start kicking off, I'm going to get arrested all the time. So, you know, I've been jammed into some serious fucking shithole situations, mate, yeah? So don't come on here and tell me how it is, okay? Because you have no idea, because I'm dealing with a pure fucking evil narcissist, yeah? Who's constantly blame-shifted and moved about the country, yeah? For the last 12 years of her life. Causing me all sorts of fucking aggravation.
No, oh, and here's another one, yeah. While we were in um, Colford, no, Cinderford, right? Cinderford. We were uh, we were next door to a, a good neighbour, yeah. Uh, we had a shared footpath with a railing, right? <clears throat> and my mum gets another dog, yeah. So she ties up the dog on the railing, yeah. And he's there saying, oh, can, can you not do that, please? Yeah. It scares my wife. Yeah. She's a bit frightened of dogs. Can you stop doing that? You've got a garden. Stick the dog in there. She didn't. Yeah. And she comes up to me one day and says, oh, he grabbed me by the throat. And I was like, why? Because oh, I tied the dog out by the railing. And I was like, how many times have, you, have we told you not to? How many times have we told you not to? Yeah. Anyway, I went on to see the guy. Yeah. He gave me a cup of tea, actually. I said, yeah, I'd love one, thanks. Had a good chat. I said, I know the deal here, mate. I know the deal here. She's a fucking nightmare, mate. He goes, oh, yeah, you understand, don't you? I was like, yeah, I do. I know exactly what's going on. <clears throat> but, yeah, he had her by the foot, apparently. Or she's making it up. I don't know. I wasn't there, you know, I was out trying to fucking sort something out or whatever, you know. So, you know, she moved him there because she was like, mm, nah, 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 whatever. So where did we move then? I can't even remember, you know. Is it a wonder why my brain is fucked, you yeah. know, having to deal with this constant shit in my life? for the last two and a half decades. <clears throat>